Next up, we're gonna work third shot drives, okay? And the reason we're hitting third shot drives. So I have Clint with me, gonna work some drives. He changed his paddle from his 003 to his air. He wants to get a little more power on it and take Sean's head off. So we're good and we're all set. But what we wanna work on right now is we wanna work on when and why to hit our third shot drive. So again, one thing is too true. We wanna be in a good position. We wanna be balanced to hit a third shot drive. We don't wanna be off balance. Key and the reason why is that if we are off balance hitting a third shot drive, maybe we're falling off to the sideline or we're leaning back, what that's gonna allow our opponent to do is dictate the whole point. And they're gonna control the whole point because we're off balance. So when I hit my third shot drive, I wanna make sure that a key is, is that I'm on balance and in control. Next thing is when I do hit that third shot drive, I'm really not trying to hit a winner with it. I'm trying to set up my fifth shot. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gain ground on my drive. So if I hit this ball from the baseline and I drive this ball right at Sean, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be wanting to gain ground forward. So I'm gonna wanna hit this and maybe gain a step or two. And then I'm gonna read what he does with this ball. If he blocks it or punches it back to me, now what I've given myself is a shorter drop. So now I work a third shot drive to a fifth shot drop, maybe in the transition area, or I cause a pop-up, right? So if I drive this ball at Sean and he pops it up, now me and Clint can come in and put this ball away and it's a winner. So I'm trying to gain ground and work to my fifth shot. So first we'll work with me a little bit, Sean. So we're gonna work on technique and what I wanna do with this third shot drive. So you're gonna feed me some good footwork right there. And all I'm gonna do is nice, easy drive. Good footwork, moving forward. Good, right there. So good feed here. Right there, good. Again here, moving forward and I'm set up for that next ball. So moving forward, but again, right there, I got a little too big. So what I'm trying to do here is I don't want to get too big. I want to get nice and easy and make sure that I'm forcing him to play that next ball. So good feet again. Easy right there. Easy right there. Good. But again, it's all that. Oh, that's a good ball. I was off balance. Couldn't do anything with it. Now I'm on balance, come through that ball. One more here, be on balance here. Hit a good drive. I'm working to right in and now I've worked my way in. All right, so now Clint's seen that, he's ready. Here we go. That's good. Works the next one to a drop, works his way in. Perfect, reset it. Comes in, drives, good, works his way in. Reset again. Clint goes all the way back. Perfect. Good drive. Gains ground. Oh, attacks twice and works his way in. Good. Now that's a good combo for you guys watching, right? So he gained ground, but he didn't gain a whole ton of ground. So he had another ball that he was balanced on, attacks the next one, and then gets an easier seven shot drop. So again, here, work that drive. Maybe a little off balance, but that's all right. That's what we're here for, working on it. On balance, perfect. Works his way in, good. And now he's in position. Perfect, one more here. Good here, works his way in. Perfect, love it right there. Give me one more. One more good one here. It's a good drive, there it is. And works his way through, perfect, that's it. So again, you guys watching, perfect example right there on that last one. Clint hits the drive, works his way in through transition, drops the next, and now he's in the point. So he went from a 70-30 advantage to the receivers to now to a 50-50 point, working through that transition area. Good drives, setting up the fifth shot drop, and that's how you work to the kitchen line.